Hi guys, it's Rach. Today we are giving out some more underrated product love because that's the whole reason they're underrated because they don't get enough love so I'm we're sharing the love today. Today we're talking about lipstick, specifically the Sports Girl Pout About It Lip Colors. And the reason that I want to highlight these particular lipsticks is not only because they are awesome, but also because I have noticed that I tend to just dismiss the makeup products that you find in fashion stores. For those of you who maybe don't know what Sports Girl is, it's a fashion clothing accessory kind of store and they also have their own sort of makeup range that is sold within the store. Similar to the way say Topshop has makeup in their store or Forever 21 also sells makeup in their store and you tend to find that or well, at least in my opinion I kind of skip past them because I automatically think this is not their main role, this is not what they usually do, they sell clothes and they've just kind of tacked on makeup on the side and I kind of just automatically assume that the products aren't going to be great, which is not true. Sure, some of the products may not be super duper fantastic, but you may find some gems. I have found some Topshop products that I love, I've never tried Forever 21 makeup before, but I have seen uh, YouTubers talk about it. I've found some really great products for inexpensive prices and that is what I found with these Sports Girl lipsticks. The about it lip colours actually come in quite a variety of colours. I think there's probably Probably over 15 different shades. I have two shades to show you guys today. The first one is Love Bite, which is probably one of my favorites. It's a really, really gorgeous blue-based red, slightly pink. It goes on the lips really, really creamy, really, really pigmented. It doesn't feel drying at all. And I'm just really, really impressed with the overall product. They don't have a weird smell, they don't have a waxy smell at all, so they just, they really don't have much of a smell at all, which I think is great. The other colour that I want to show you is Fruit Tingle. I really like this one because it's just this really kind of unique, bright, peach, slightly pinky colour. Again, look how pigmented that is, it's crazy. So they have some really, really fun colours. I love the sleek packaging, it's just a really nice black tube. I love the fact that they have the colour on the bottom, so if you want to store your lipsticks upside down, you can and you'll be able to see the colour, you don't have to worry about it. The name is written on the bottom as well. I like the names, I like the colours, I like the packaging, I like the formula. In terms of wear, I find that they're fairly comparable to your standard lipsticks, say my NYX lipsticks, things like that. They do have a creamy formula, these aren't matte shades, so they aren't supposed to be long wearing, they're not a lip stain, but they don't wear off straight away, they aren't too thick or too thin they're not sticky at all and just overall I think they're a great product that I think they're worth checking out. In Sports Girl I think the recommended retail price is $9.95 although sometimes they do go on sale which is great. Even at $10 they are a fairly inexpensive lipstick particularly for pricing here in Australia. It is great that you can pick them up in store so for those of you who can't really find a lot of inexpensive lipsticks and can't shop online then I think that this is definitely a range that's worth checking out next time you're in Sports Girl. Maybe looking at the clothes or the sunglasses or the accessories. Stop by their makeup range and check out these lipsticks because I definitely don't think you'll be disappointed. I would also love to know if you've tried any of the other Sports Girl makeup products because they do have like tanning products and face products and powders and bronzers and blushes and a whole range. So if you've tried any of them and you think that they're worth checking out, definitely let me know so maybe I can pick them up next time I'm shopping. And I'd also love to hear if you found any other sort of makeup gems in clothing stores or a store that isn't primarily selling makeup. I'd love to hear your stories. And other than that, as always, share your underrated products in the comments below because maybe I will check them out and feature them in a future underrated products video. And that's it. I'm going to go. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and I will see you all next time. Bye.